At EXA, we know there's no such thing as out of the box when it comes to software as rich and varied as the Salesforce ecosystem. Everything has to be amended to fit our client's unique business case and to fit where the business is trying to go. But what does fit mean? Fit is a systems theory principle that states that you cannot look at the performance of any individual part of a system to understand the performance of the system as a whole. An easy example to understand is that of a car. A car has an essential function, which is to get you from point A to B as elegantly as possible. But this system we call a car has essential properties that are unique to the car that are not possessed by any of the individual parts or groups of parts of that system. That means that while a car can move from A to B, the engine itself cannot. Neither can the steering wheel, nor the transmission, but the car can. The car as a whole has properties that none of its parts have. Thus, when a system is taken apart and observed only as its individual pieces, it loses its essential systemic properties. You have to be able to see the parts and their interactions as a whole and focus on how they all fit together. The performance of any part within the system absolutely and entirely depends on its interactions with the rest of the system, much in the same way that for an engine to perform, it needs the proper functioning of all the surrounding parts. We strive to build solutions that fit, to create a series of subsystems that all combine and interact in a way that consistently moves the business closer to its goals. What fits your business best will be absolutely unique to you. A second key systems theory insight is understanding the difference between core and tangential activities. It's a critical mechanism for predicting how much resistance there will be in using the system. What is a tangential activity? Tangential data and process activities attempt to create data through activities and processes that have to be completed in addition to the normal work activities of an individual. It's something you have to do extra. This is like using your indicator light in a car. It doesn't do anything to how you drive the car. It's just a signal to other drivers that you intend to do a maneuver. But if you don't remember to do it, it doesn't switch itself on. On the other hand, core data and process activities create valuable data through the performance of a core process without requiring extra steps for data enrichment. In the car example, the core activity is using the car's brakes and the core data activity is the brake light switching on when you step on the brake. It's not something you have to think about, it just happens. When we analyze either an existing system or design a new one, we try to identify how many of the activities that users are expected to complete are tangential. In other words, how many of the activities we expect them to do does not form part of the core work activities. The more of these tangential activities, the less likely the system is to be an enabler and it actually becomes a detractor. It can feel like admin. A large part of our blueprinting methodology is designed to enable the team to understand in as high resolution as possible what the current practices of our clients entail. We work hard to design systems that both users and management love. Our understanding of systems theory helps us to get the best fit every time.